So I thought I'd say a few words about the difference between the two pieces of um, meeting paperwork that you've been asked to, uh, to keep, the meeting agenda and the meeting minutes. So some of you have confused the two. Agenda and minutes are two very different things. So an agenda is a document which is prepared before a meeting. Right, so there will be a meeting. So this is prepared before the meeting. And it's what you refer to during the meeting. So before the meeting, the secretary prepares the agenda. The agenda will consist of items, standing items like agenda, so uh, apologies, approval of minutes from the previous meeting, matters arising, review of progress, allocation of future tasks, confirmation of next chairman, date of next meeting, and any other business. So these are standing items. Almost every meeting in the world will have these items. You might add some items to this, you might change a couple, but generally the agenda will have Apologies and approval of previous minutes will have the date of next meeting and any other business at uh, the end. And there'll be some list of tasks, either allocation of future tasks, review of previous uh, tasks, or both. But the important thing is this happens before the meeting. So there should be no details of meeting activities in here. Okay, so this is prepared by the secretary before the meeting. This is really important. There should be only bullet points. So the agenda, each agenda item should be three or four words, not more than that. It's literally what you see in front of you. So there shouldn't be any any extra text here, just a few words for each item. It should have the time and date. And any other details relating to the meeting. Now, after the meeting, after the meeting, there should be a record of what happened during the meeting. So during the meeting, the secretary should also take notes. And should follow the agenda. So the secretary will go through the apologies and will list the apologies here. The secretary will approve minutes of last meeting. We'll go through matters arising from the last meeting. We'll go through the tasks. So each of these has a corresponding item here, okay? Now, where does the details happen? All the details, all the notes of what actually happened in the meeting, that's where this, that's what you put in the um, minutes. So the minutes and the agenda all have the same headings. So they all have these headings. These headings should match these headings. They have to match. They have to match one to one. So one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four. They should all match with the same numbers. But you should additionally have detail here. What happened in the meeting? What did you agree? A list of all the tasks. Who was present? Who was absent? All of that goes into the minutes. So the minutes, here it says, this is, these are minutes of the meeting that happened on the 12th of October. So the meeting has already happened. This is a record of what happened. So these match the agenda, but they're not the agenda. The agenda is a document that's prepared before the meeting. So this is really important. The agenda is before the meeting. The minutes are after the meeting. So you, 
if you present an agenda that has details of what's happened in the meeting, then that's wrong. If you present minutes without presenting an agenda, then that's wrong. These are two separate um, documents. This is one document, this is a separate document. They're two separate documents. Both prepared by the secretary, but one before the meeting, one after the meeting. So I hope that's clear. For, so for looking ahead to the next task, make sure your minutes and your agenda are written in that way.